my parents both grew up in very, very religious households. So when I grew up, it was not a religious household. My parents always said, like, you know, you can pray to whoever you want to, you know. Just be a good person. That's kind of how I was raised, to just love and be kind and defend people if they're getting fucked with. Good values. I live in a house of good values. <laughs> what do I think about organized religion? Uh, mm, I don't know. I always have a, I always get very uncomfortable when a lot of people are all like, that one thing, you know, it seems like mind control to me. Some people like it and that's awesome. And I, I have friends who go to church and not many, <laughs> but I have friends who go to church, you know, and um, whatever, you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with some bands, you know, like I'll just listen to the same band over and over again. Just be like, yeah, you know, that helps me, you know, if people are all into organized religion, that's cool. And you know what, at the, at the same time, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with it as well because, you know, there are good things about organized religion. It, it is a sense of community. It's a certain type of community of people who get together. It's more than just a church thing. It's, you know, they, they're friends. Their families are friends with other people's families. You know, they have, they have barbecues. It's almost the community thing I was talking about. There's a certain element of community to it. Just like in the theater community, you know, we all have our community. We're all theater nuts. You know, we all get together and we have big opening night parties, we go out, we, we all, it's a small community theater, we all know each other, we've all worked with someone who works with somebody, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I'm not trying to compare organized religion to theater, but there are probably many, sim more similarities than most theater people would think. <laughs> Only donations in theater like they were in organized religion. The media is a form of mind control, advertisements are mind control, but then there's also, you know, the the idea is that people just kind of, as a group, glob onto, you know. People like to share the same values. What do they call it? Group think? So what they call it? Group think? Something that happens in every society, I think, you know. We all just kind of point at a certain type of thing and go, that's wrong! We don't know why, we all just agree that it's wrong, you know. We all agree that, you know, this type of person is a, you know, is a freak or whatever, or you know, we all agree that this country is evil. We all want to conform, I feel like. I feel like a lot of the, maybe it's, maybe it goes even beyond the concept of mind control. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's just more, we all, we just, we just choose to be that way. We choose to conform. Bullfighting is illegal? Like, what the fuck? It makes no sense to me. You know, oh, they're stabbing the bull, you know. Okay, how is that animal based? Because it hurts them. But that's how we kill animals. We stab them. It's a bloody, dirty, disgusting, painful process where one of them is going to suffer. And you know what it is? The animal. The animal is going to suffer. And we're going to get the better end. We're going to get the food. You know, we're fine. We get what we want. And, and all bullfighting is, is, is it, it's just a ceremony that shows exactly how a bull is killed before we had guns, you know? And that's what it is. They throw spears at it, they throw daggers in it, they stab it with a sword and they kill it. It's, that's how we killed before we had guns. We had to stab an animal to death. We had to slice its throat, we had to gang up on it as a group of people and corner it somehow to kill it. And that's all a bullfight is. And it's hard to watch, it's sad, I cried the whole time, but I felt fucking honored to be there, you know, to be a part of this community that was just cheering on the bull and the matador like they were equals, you know what I mean? The matador was doing his job and the bull's doing its job. It's being sacrificed for food, you know? They eat it, you know? It's not like they're gonna just throw it on the ground and like paint with its blood. You know, they, they eat it, you know what I mean? So it's no different than a slaughterhouse. It's, the only difference is education. That's the only difference because they, they make it public. They let everybody come, they bring their kids, their families, and they, as a group of people, as a community, they watch this animal get slaughtered. Not like it's in a cage in a field somewhere, away from people to see. It's public. So that's the only difference is education. But going back to the whole globbing on diabetes thing, like we glob onto this idea that that's animal abuse. I don't get it. And every single person I ever talk to, maybe even you, I'm not judging if you feel that way, but I don't get it. Like everyone I know feels like, oh my God, why the 
like. That is so wrong. People aren't culturally relativistic, you know, that was, that's a term, cultural, being a cultural relativist, you know. People, oh, they just walk around naked, like women don't wear bras and they breastfeed their kids until they're five. That's, that's so barbaric. Oh, they all live in the same, they all live in a room that's the size of my room. Mom, dad, and five kids, and like, mom and dad have sex while the kids are in the room. Like, that's so weird. It's not, it's not, <laughs> like, it's not. We're just different than they are, you know? We have our way of living, we all glom onto the same ideas, and they all glom onto the same fucking ideas. Just, we have different gloms. I was at the store with my buddy Ernie the other night, we were at the house right down the street. You know, I saw that they were like, I had this picture of her crying, and they're like, I don't want to go through it anymore, like, basically making her look like a coward, you know, making fun of her. Just, that's all the media wants to do is make fun of her, make her look like a freak. That's how I feel anyway. They want to make transsexuality look like a freak show. And they're profiting off of it. They're making lots of money off of this freak show, you know. And I said to Ernie, I said, you know what they should do, Ernie? And I said this loud enough for everybody to hear because I'm a loud, opinionated motherfucker sometimes. I said, you know what they should do, Ernie? They should just, I was drunk too. They should just take all these fucking tabloids, you know, make it illegal to sell them at the stores, you know. I'm all about free speech, but I think what we should do is... You know, if, if, if they want to shame someone, they shouldn't sell a tabloid. They should just hang them in the store. We should have a public hanging. That's what we should do. Go back to the way it used to be. Be more honest about it. We should just hang Caitlyn Jenner in the store. You know, just, we'll sell tickets. And Ernie goes, no, John, that's wrong. And I'm like, no, we should fucking hang her. We're, 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 everybody wants to see her hung anyway, so put her fucking hanger. That's what I said. And Ernie's like, shh, John. You know, and then I said... No, 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 you're right, Ernie. We, we can't hang her, because it won't sell as much. <laughs> It'll probably sell a thousand tickets. You know, we could probably fit a thousand people in this store. We'd have to push some of the shelves back, but we could fit a thousand people in here easily, you know? Sell a thousand tickets, but sell a thousand tickets, $20 each. What is that? $20,000? They sell, like, 20,000 of these every single state, you know? So there's more money in these. Yeah, I, I get it. All right. Keep selling the tabloids. I'm a capitalist.